Alright, what's for one update finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akilanga Flora 2. Well then, the update is officially out, and you all know what that means. Yeah, buddy. Why did I just buy this man? Okay, so the only one I can kind of see that is like a little bit different is the one that's green. Okay, you know what, green. I'm just gonna use green. Oh, why did it put me to the top? Well then, boys, the update is officially out, and what has changed from the beta? Well, pretty much nothing besides you can get the DLC weapon now. If I'm being 100% honest here, I was kind of hyped for the trailer more than the actual update, because every single trailer usually has something to hint the next update, but I mean, this trailer, yeah, it just had nothing. I mean, look at this man. Yep, Santa looking left and right and saying chestnuts. God damn it, what is this game? I mean, I could just go like on and on on why I do believe this update is actual wank, but I mean, it is still an update after all, boy. Oh, first shot was a freaking slow motion shot, well that's what we love, boy. Yeah, I just love these headshot effects, man. I mean, thank God for community, you know, made mods and maps and stuff like that, because otherwise, yeah, this game... Yeah, would most likely end back in, I don't know, 2018, because 2019 and 2020, yeah, it was just, just meh. Okay, you know what, I'm not actually going to be trash talking the game, because we already know that it is going, you know, to end soon, because of Killing Floor 3. I mean, hopefully, man, I mean, if it's not gonna be Killing Floor 3 and they're just gonna make, like, something different, yeah, I'm gonna be genuinely upset, boy. Oh. Dude, I haven't played this game in... Yeah, freaking awake now, like actively. So yeah, might be a little bit rusty on the whole shooty shoot part. Okay, right here is prepared to get your kneecaps destroyed. Okay, so what is this update all about? Well, you pretty much got this map called the Elysium and you got, you know, some seasonal objectives. And if you guys want to know how to do these, I do recommend just going to my channel. And you're just gonna see that. But yeah, in this update, you also have this new weapon called the Frost Fang, which is gonna be $10 DLC. Oh, it looks green. Oh, that's right, I did equip the green. I mean, it looks meh. But yeah, if you buy this weapon now, it's going to be like 6 bucks or 7 bucks. But I mean, if you're gonna wait and purchase it afterwards, it's going to be 10 bucks. So if you do want to absolutely have it, yeah, just, you know, save some money and buy it now. So yeah, is this weapon any good? I mean, it is pretty much for like 3 perks. It's, you know, for the support, it's for the berserker, and it's for, you know, the survivalist. And it's kind of good on the survivalist as well. I actually thought it was gonna be bad on him, but... Surprisingly, a very strong weapon. Nice. But yeah, I mean, the reason this weapon is so freaking good is because... Well, yeah, you can free stuff, you can kill stuff, you can parry stuff, and you can, you know, chop stuff. Pretty freaking epic. I mean, fair enough, this weapon was, you know, way better in beta 1. But it still works in, you know, the final release. Okay, I'm just, like, missing left, right. I'm just, like, so used to, you know, playing Warzone now. So, killing floor... Yeah, I don't even know how to play this shit anymore. Okay, yeah, boy, the cookie, that's a freaking elf, I'm getting clapped. I mean, time to parry, right? And maybe run away to get some freaking distance. Dude, how am I just, like, missing everything? I mean, to be fair, I just, like, hopped in, and this is, like, my first game after... Well, yeah, a long freaking time. Okay, boy. Okay, the only thing I do have to say is boy, and I'm just gonna, like, hit everything. Yeah, boy. And boy. Yep, works every time. How where the hell did you come from? Okay, time to parry spam, even though that's gonna do absolutely nothing. Cause I ain't no berserker. I mean still got the kills though. Oh ooh. Get killed. But yeah, this weapon overall it is Yeah, just a freaking masterpiece. Okay, blot. Uh huh. Frozen my dude. Oh only got like four shots and there's like four Zs. But I'm just gonna chop him. Maybe kill the siren. There we go. How did that miss? Perfect. I still got him. I mean, you pretty much get the weapon for three perks, and it's like viable on all three perks. But yeah, on top of that, we also got a weapon for the medic called the Vacuum Cleaner, aka the HRG Vampire. 
But yeah, the Vampire, it is, you know, not that bad. But I mean, for a pure medic, yeah, this weapon's gonna be completely irrelevant. I only recommend it if you're gonna be playing it on the boss wave. But yeah, pretty much what you do with this thing, you just go near Z and you just, you know, suck their blood out. Like a freaking Vampire. And then you, like, throw the blood back. And the more blood you get, you can actually shoot. Okay, I just like missed them two times. Oh my god, the same. Okay, spooders get absolutely sucked. Oh, I just like hit the dude behind. I was supposed to like hit the dude in front. Boy. Nice. But yeah, if you don't upgrade this thing at all, yeah, it's going to be weighing 8 freaking kilograms. And if you're gonna be playing the medic as this thing, or just with this thing, yeah, good luck being like an effective freaking healer. Boy. But yeah, man, these freaking darts, yeah, they do a lot of damage, as you can see. Okay, suck a bit of blood, here we go, throw the blood back. Boy. Yep, he did. I mean, on multiplayer, it is a little bit more awkward just, you know, shooting things because of, you know, latency and stuff like that. Boy. But on solo, it's pretty fun. But yeah, this weapon also works quite good on the survivalist. So do give that a freaking try. Okay, suck the freaking fidget spinner, here we go. Throw the blood to the husk, or should I say the scrook. And decapitate him. And just like that. Yeah, boy. Yeah, just back to saying yeah, boy every single time. So yeah, this is the HRG Vampire, and is it fun? It's definitely fun. I mean, it's definitely better than the Mine Reconstructor, that's for sure. And now we're gonna be playing with the Frost Fang again, but on the Berserker, because it actually works on him. Okay, if you're gonna be playing the Frost Fang on the Berserker, I do recommend Massacre, but Smash. I mean, it's just better in every single situation. I mean, on top of that, you can pair this thing with the Hammer Clover, which is quite nice. Well then, skip Trader, and let's see what we can do for Wave freaking 4. Oh, and here we go, we're in the freaking castle area. Oh, Opa! Well, let's just go and parry some fools. And just like that. I mean, look at this. You get the freaking parry bonus. And you can just, like, slice them up. But even bashing to perform, you know, these melee attacks, it is a little bit awkward, especially in multiplayer, because it is directional. But, I mean, you can kind of make it work. Yeah, boy. Okay, Idar, don't think I don't see your freaking shenanigans over here. Time to die. Or maybe not, because my man's doing acrobatic shit. And there is another one. Oh, bunch of spooders. Time to parry the living shit. Okay, I can't even see anything, man. Yep, time to run. But even when I played with this weapon on some multiplayer, I did find it to be, you know, not as good for, you know, a big batch of flesh bones. Because it doesn't really reliably stun, or should I say, freeze the flesh bones. So yeah, for flesh bones, I don't actually recommend using this thing, because it's just gonna rage him, and you're better off just, like, parrying them and chopping them up. Oh, screw. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Okay, of course, a random ass husk. Why not? Okay, actually got clobbered. But yeah, like I said, Frost Fang, not worth for, you know, freezing flesh bones, but definitely worth for Farrakhan Scrooks. Okay. How did I just bash the dudes behind? Oh, and speaking of flesh bones, while I get casually launched, here they come. Okay, I'm getting like multiple freaking flesh bones. Yep, here they come. Can I. Away them somehow. Maybe? But this here, oh, he's still rage. Oh, there's a freaking quarter point. Okay. I'm just gonna casually run away from the shit. Okay, can I actually freeze you? I mean, not really, but I can, you know, just kill you. Okay, get close. Let me just parry you up. Here we are. I mean, you can kind of freeze him, but it's very inconsistent and situational. Yep, that Scrake got clapped. Oh, oost. Uh huh. But yeah, this weapon definitely fun, and you can do some epic stuff with it. So yeah, I would definitely it. recommend it. Well then, auto fail, and let's get myself the hammock lober, and just like I know, fully upgrade that thing and skip trader, and let's see what we can uh, possibly do. Wait, can I actually EMP the freaking boss once he's like up there? Get back to work. More Zeds inbound. Yes, I can. But yeah, the boss always spawns here for some reason. I don't know why. But he does. Oh, why did you just do a machine gun? Okay. But yeah, man, Patriarch, yeah, this dude is, yeah, definitely easy to kill, especially with the Frost Fang. See, look, you can just, like, freeze him, then just go close, chop him up, maybe parry him a little bit. Machine gun? Nope, you're gonna do that. What's he doing? 
Yeah, I don't even know what the hell he's doing, man. No, oh, and he's going. Was he even, like, trying? I mean, I know he's, like, the worst boss in the game to kill. I should say, for him to kill anyone, but come on. Okay, you know what? I might just, like, actually leave him. Or should I leave him? Wait, can I freeze him? Nope, he just, like, went into the corner of the map. Come on. I mean, what's he doing, like, actually? Oh, and now he's doing a machine gun. Yeah, poor Patriarch, man. I mean, this is what you can do to him on multiplayer. What a sad Fire Aiken boss. Ow. Oh, didn't let me parry for some reason. Wait, he's frozen. Nope, he's going away. Okay, so the only complaint I do have on this map is that, yep, ammunition is just not a thing. Not sure why. But, I mean, sure. I mean, you do get, like, an ammo box here and there. Nope, he's got a machine gun out. Just run sideways, and we should be good. And here he comes. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on, man. Yep, is, is that actually what you're gonna be doing? My man. Dude, I just don't know what it is about this boss. I mean, even though he's, like, easy as hell. I mean, he's just, like, fun to go against. Ow. Dude, you know I'm just, like, healing on your ass, right? No, I mean, my man just, like, killed his own, his own children over there. But, yeah, I mean, this map, if it was, like, you know, Christmas themed, I would, you know, enjoy it. But, I mean, it's not, so I kind of don't really enjoy playing on it. But, yeah, I mean, you guys can let me know on what you think about, you know, this update. Oh, what are you doing, man? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, and we're back to this awkward situation, dude. And he's dead. Yep, this was like the easiest boss battle of my life. I mean, this dude's actually easier than the Abomination, and that's like saying something. But yeah, overall, for me, for okay, what the hell is this animation? Okay, that just looks weird. But yeah, I mean, for me personally, yeah, this update, it, it's not really much. But I mean, like I said before, yeah, at least we're getting Killing Floor 3, and that's why Killing Floor 2 updates are, yeah, pretty wank. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments on what you guys think about this whole update, because like I said, for me, yeah, not really much. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.